He was one of the biggest names in country music, but we woke up this morning to the news that Oklahoma's Toby Keith had died more than two years after being diagnosed with stomach cancer. He left his mark on country music and here in North Texas. I should have been a cowboy. And with that song, Toby Keith charged onto the country music scene in the 1990s. He racked up 32 number one hits during his music career, performing with stars like Texas legend Willie Nelson on another hit, Beer for My Horses. And beer for my horses. But he was more than a singer. You give me a great idea and I'll write you a great song. The songwriter and performer eventually sold more than 40 million albums. When I play Fort Worth, there's not a better play in the Dallas Metro to me today. And performed at venues around the world, like Billy Bob's in Fort Worth. Toby Keith was known for making his fans feel like family. Uh, I know he hailed from Oklahoma, but Texas, Fort Worth, Texas specifically, Billy Bob's Texas was like a second home band. But like a country song, life happened. In 2022, Keith revealed he'd been diagnosed with stomach cancer and stepped away from the spotlight to focus on treatments and healing. Last month, weeks after returning to the stage in Las Vegas, he sat down with a CBS affiliate in Oklahoma City to talk about his cancer journey. Cancer is a roller coaster, so you're, it's like you just sit here and wait on it to go away. It may not ever go away. Uh, and if it goes in remission, it's still going to be on the back of your mind. You still have to do scans and stuff. The news of Keith's death caught many people off guard. It was a shock. I, I mean, we, we didn't see this coming. We thought that he was on the road to recovery. But unfortunately, with cancer, you just never know. And so I think that hurts a lot, too, is that we weren't really prepared Thank for it. For Leading listeners to reminisce. Red Solo Cup. And raise a Red Solo Cup in his memory. Let's have a party. Toby Keith had a connection to the Dallas Cowboys beyond the song Should Have Been a Cowboy, which came out as the team was winning Super Bowls in the 90s. Keith was the halftime performer during the Cowboys' 2003 Thanksgiving Day football game.